Hi guys, welcome to the advanced JavaScript tutorial series. Today we are going to see about the topic hoisting and temporal dead zone. These two are very important concepts in JavaScript. Hoisting. Before going to hoisting, let's discuss about functions in JavaScript. The functions are divided into two subtypes in JavaScript. They are function declaration and function expression. Function declaration defines a named function variable without requiring variable assignment. This is called as function declaration. This is an example for function declaration. This function run is declared without any variable assignment. So this type of function is function declaration in JavaScript. The function expression is subdivided into two types. They are named function expression and anonymous function expression. The named function expression, a named function will be assigned to a variable. Here, a named function slow will be assigned to a variable named walk. In the anonymous function declaration, a anonymous function, that is a function without any name. Here, this function doesn't have any name and it is assigned to a variable named walk. This is anonymous function expression. If you see, what is the key difference between a function declaration and function expression is, when you see a function without any assignment, that is if a function starts with a keyword function, then it is said to be function declaration. In other words, if the first word in the function line is starts with function, then it is function declaration. If a first word in a function starts with a variable assignment, then it is function expression. Now let's see what is hoisting. Hoisting is variables coupled declaration and initialization at the top of the scope. We will discuss this with an example. For that, I will write a three lines of code that is cons so dot log a b c d where a b c d equal to david console dot log a b c d if you are expecting reference error in line one then you are wrong we will run this code run now we are getting a undefined undavid how we are getting undefined the variable declaration happens only at the second line but we are calling that variable in the first line how this is possible this is possible by hoisting in javascript this is a weird behavior which applicable to javascript let's discuss about this code in depth this is our line of code console.log the name var name and the name is we are initializing the name and we are assigning the value david to it and we are printing the name again so how these three lines of code got compiled in the javascript let's see first this var name will be initialized javascript compiler checks for any variable declaration whatever the variable declaration happens in the lines of code it moves that to the first line that is here i have declared var name and initialized it to david while compiling javascript compiler takes that name variable and puts it as the first line and then it puts all the remaining lines of code now you can able to understand why we got the output undefined because the javascript compiler takes the variable name and declares it at the first line and assigns undefined to it so we are getting console.log equal to undefined in the third line here we are assigning david to name already the name is assigned with undefined in line one by javascript compiler then we are reassigning david to the name so we are getting the output david now let's make this more interesting javascript behaves differently to function expression and function declaration at the compile time let's see about that example i wrote a piece of code that is i am having two functions one is function declaration i am defining it here and another one is function expression i am defining it here and now i will try to run this and let's see what the output is we are getting four run so how we got the output four at the first line let's see how javascript behaves with function declaration and function expression this is our line of code as i said in the last example whenever javascript compiler compiles our code it checks for all the variables declaration and it moves all the variable declaration to the first line here you can able to see uh, where steps is there so that will be moved to the first place and there is another variable declaration that is where walk that will be moved to the second portion and both these variables are assigned with undefined so next here comes the main picture here function declaration will be moved up that is it will be compiled first the javascript compiler checks for any function declaration in the given lines of code if there is any function declaration it moves that to the top that is the function declaration compiles at the beginning so the function run is compiled now it puts all the remaining code so now we will try to find the output let's follow it here console run gives the output for there is a function named run is defined before so it returns for so we are getting the output for i'm just printing the run function so i am getting the run i'm just printing walk we see the walk is initialized by javascript so here the walk is undefined so we got the output undefined now i am trying to print walk as a function now when i try to print walk as a function it checks what the walk is here 
it sees that walk is not a function it is just a undefined variable so we are getting a exception here so it catches this exception and we are trying to print the exception here so we are getting the output as walk is not a function because still we didn't assign a function to the variable walk now as we discussed in the last example this steps it will check whether the step is declared in the first line which is declared by javascript compiler and it is initialized with undefined so we got the output undefined the next line step is assigned with a value 3 then we are trying to print it we are getting the value 3 next we are trying to print the function walk next we are assigning an anonymous function to walk that is it returns the anonymous function now we are trying to print the walk as a function now we are getting the output 5 since we are assigning a function to the walk before so this is hoisting now we see the definition again hoisting is variables coupled declaration and initialization at the top of the scope that is wherever we initialize a variable in the javascript code this will be taken to the first line and it will be automatically assigned undefined by the javascript compiler this is hoisting now we will see what is temporal dead zone now we will write the same code but instead of declaring a variable with var we will declare it with let console.log abcd let abcd equal to david console.log abcd now we will try to run this code here we got the reference error abcd is not defined because in let it decouples the initialization and declaration that is whenever a variable is declared the let decouples declaration and initialization phase that decoupling vanishes the hoisting so the javascript compiler no more hoists the code so we are getting reference error in the first line so this is called as temporal dead zone since the let decouples the initialization and declaration phase there is a gap created between initialization and declaration phase so that gap called as temporal dead zone if we try to access a variable inside the temporal dead zone we will get a reference error with the let we can able to successfully decouple initialization and declaration the const also behaves in the same way now we try to replace let with const and we will run the code we got the same error abcd is not defined there is a difference between let and const the difference between let and a const is whenever we assign a value to const we can't reassign a value that is whenever we are declaring a variable we need to assign a value to that variable we can't reassign any value to the const variable but let we can reassign n number of time that is the difference between let and const to know more about let and const check my video tutorial on let and const the link for those video i put in the description thanks for watching this video for more technical videos Please subscribe this channel.